Malaysia aims to reach the target of one organ donor per million population soon, up from the current rate of 0.7 per million. But with more than 10,500 patients still on the waiting list for organ transplants, National Transplant Resource Centre's Dr. Hasti Harun addresses some of the public's concerns about becoming an organ donor. They are fear. They didn't know about the uh, donation after death, and then they are um, unsure about uh, in terms of a religious perspective whether it is permissible or not, and then in terms of process of uh, donation after death, uh, how it is being done. Is there any mutilation of the body, and is it uh, consent or permission to be taken from home? Uh, we did from from family and not, and some of other concern about uh, whether the body will be complete or not after life, and then uh, some of um, the concern about the process would delay the arrangement of funeral later on. This is some of the reason actually uh, our our public our people from community concern about. Dr. Hasdi also emphasised on the importance of the family institution when making the decision to become an organ donor. According to National Transplant Resource data, for the last five years, most families refused to give consent because they did not know the wishes of the deceased. So majority are not, uh, didn't know uh, what the disease want. And in Malaysia, our refusal rate for organ donation is 80%. It's quite high. Only less than 20% agree for donation. So our team in the hospital must always ask the family, okay, regardless the status of the patient, okay, regardless whether we, did, we didn't know whether he's a register or not, but we ask. So if the family already knew that is what the, the, the deceased one, then it makes process smooth, then they can make decision. But let's say they didn't know, but it doesn't mean that if they are not a pledger or register, they cannot donate. The family has the right to choose based on what the family feels right. Dr. Hasi also urges the public to take a proactive approach towards organ donation by educating themselves and making informed decisions. The focus, he said, is not just on encouraging organ donation, but also ensuring that the correct information reaches potential donors. So to improve organ donation in Malaysia, we have to look at uh, many aspects uh, to make sure that every people in our country that able and have a good knowledge to register as organ donor. Like I said, the challenge is they may not know or they may not be educated well enough to understand about the organ donation. So this has to be focused on our campaign and public campaign and physical campaign and reach out to the people in the street or in, in the community and uh, not just uh, through the physical campaign, through the uh, mainstream media as well as uh, social media. Nowadays, we use a lot of social media to reach every level of society, eh? not only specific group of people. I mean, from the young people, from the uh, middle and also uh, elderly group of people, because when it comes to organ donation, it involves uh, the whole uh, institution of the family when we want to get the consent later on. Dr. Hasdi also encourages the public to register as organ donors through the MySejahtera app. Uh, in stage organ failure is happening every time, every day, every month and so on. So people need transplant eh, to, to continue their life. And I hope that uh, people um, need encouragement that we, if anything that we can help, even after we that, this is the charity that we can give to people and uh, if you're not afraid, if you're not ready, uh, you can give some time to yourself and do some reading. Uh, you can call uh, our centre to ask for more information and then can register when you are ready and from the message letter, you just look at the dashboard. The first dashboard also there is a organ donor uh, icon, Apple apps uh, there. Then you can click and then you can just uh, notify your next of kin from the two. And then automatically they will notify that you are organ donor pleasure. And from this message letter, actually you can modify later on. If let's say you've changed your mind and so on or you want to, then you will be given like e-donor card from the message letter apps. Yeah, and please just um, uh, tell your family members again that this is what you want.